Hey, I'm going to go. <laughs> so fucking up. So, so fucking weird shit. It's just, 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 just happened, right? So, so like basically fucking 20 years ago, right? I basically met this girl. Um, I met her online, yeah, and we got talking and we, we got on really well and stuff. I really liked her. She was, she was pretty cool. And then, and then whatever, she, so she was like Japanese, a Japanese American. She lived in Texas. Um, but she was coming over to Britain for like a holiday or something, yeah. So whatever, so she came over here and then we ended up meeting up, meeting up together, like whatever, we slept together and stuff. And whatever, we spent weekend together. And like whatever, we were talking and she was saying how much she hated America and she hated where she was living and her life everything. <laughs> She was a bit of an Anglophile. She proper loved loved Britain. She followed a British football team, Leeds United. <laughs> right. um, and she was saying how she, she'd love she'd love to move to Britain and stuff. So I said to her like, whatever, right? Well, why don't we get married, and then you can just move over here and whatever, do your own thing, and we'll get divorced or whatever afterwards. She's like, what, would you do that? I was like, yeah, whatever, of course I would. To help, some, to help an immigrant get into the country, of course I'll marry you. So so we're like, yeah, all right, whatever, we'll do that. And then, right, we were like, okay, so we're like, we're going to have to live together. Do you know what I mean? If we're pretending that we're married, you're going to have to live together for a bit until authorities get off us back and stuff. So we kind of, like, need to know if we can live together, do you know what I mean? So whatever, she lived in Texas, so I was like, right, whatever, I'll just come and, I'll move, come and move over and live with you for a bit, yeah. So I moved, So that's when I moved to Texas, yeah. I lived there for about three or four months or something with her. And like, whatever, we basically ended up going out with one another and becoming a couple, do you know what I mean? Through this time that we were together, and everything, everything was cool. Like I said, I stayed there about three or four months. It was like over, like I went in sort of November, and then we had like the millennium, to year 2000 came around, so like whatever, it's like 20 years ago, and like whatever, before I came home, I, we got married, right, and then whatever, we had a lot of shit getting her into country and stuff, but eventually we did, and she moved into country, and she came and moved in with me and stuff, right, yeah, and then like, whatever, like our relationship kind of broke her down and stuff, but I was like still willing to help her, whatever, but basically like whatever, so she moved over there, and everything went fine, and everything got sorted out, and then basically she just fucked off, right? And I, I, I basically didn't hear much from her. Like, she moved to Holland for a while, and then she moved to Italy. And then basically I didn't hear anything from her, right? And then about six years later, she, like, got in touch with my mum and got in touch with me, and then I got in touch with her. And basically what had happened is I think she was, like, seeing somebody and she wanted to get a divorce from me. So she says, like, I need to have the copy of the, like, wedding certificate thing to get a divorce. Because it's, like, I don't know, some kind of bureaucratic bullshit that you need to do in Italy or something. So I was like, right, all right, yeah, whatever. So I basically photocopied it, sent it off to her. And I thought, yeah, whatever, that's it. We're basically, we're divorced now, right? So I've been going through life thinking we're divorced, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Anyhow, she's just contacted me over Instagram. How the fucking hell she knew that that was me? She found me. Anyhow. So, she's just contacted me over Instagram, right? <laughs> Apparently, yeah, we're not divorced at all. <laughs> I'm like, what? Well, so, so we basically, we've been married for the last 20 years. <laughs> Whatever. It's like one of the longest marriages I've ever known, right? 20 years we've been married. <laughs> fucking mental. So, anyhow, right, so she basically saying that, that, that whatever she wants to get divorced, yeah, it's been 20 years, maybe we should end this marriage, you know what I mean? So, so she's like, yeah, whatever, like, um, can we get divorced? I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever, what do you need from me and stuff, yeah. Anyhow, right, so we get talking, and basically she says, oh, she's, I'm, I'm like, whatever, have you, are you like a citizen now? And she's like, yeah, I've just, like, basically, in the last few months, I've just been made a citizen of Italy. Yeah, so then my brain goes, oh, hang on, all oh, right, okay, right. So if you're you're an EU citizen, and I'm married to you, then maybe I can get an Italian citizenship by being married to you. And she's like, 
Yeah, can't see why you won't be able to do that. I'm like, right, okay, so can we like postpone this divorce so that I can get Italian citizenship and I can still remain an EU citizen even after Brexit? She's like, yeah, all right, whatever, let's do that. So, so whatever, so, so I've got to get in touch with the Italian embassy or whatever and and I put this in operation or whatever, I'm going to become Italian, <laughs> whatever. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm still going to be an EU citizen. Fuck you, Brexit.